Hello everybody, this is Eric at RC Monster Garage. This video intends for ages 14 and over. Dangerous RC Monster Truck, 1 5th scale, not for kids. Anyway, what we going on here today? First we have the new Creighton 8S uh, from Arma and then we have my Red Kit Racing uh, Converted Rampage MT. Uh, it was gasoline 32cc and I converted it uh, to electric. A lot, a lot of people ask me what I did and I am gonna show and I am gonna compare between the two vehicles. Um, this is a better way to do that. Just go buy it and go play. This costs a lot of money to do. Uh, you have to buy first a full size car, get rid of everything you don't like, fabricate your parts, buy new ESC, new motor, make your own motor mount. Uh, this is if only if you like to customize stuff. If you don't and you're lazy and you just want to bash, this is the one for you. I'm gonna show right now and explain everything. Uh, you can ask me in the comment below whatever you want. I will be more than happy to, to reply. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and, sh and share. Let's start. So, first of all, when you look at those two vehicles, you see the big tire. Those are huge tires, but those are bigger. Uh, let's I have this measuring tape here. Uh, I hope this is it's with nice le big si sized letters you can see. So the new Creighton is about probably like three inch and about three quarter the wheel. Uh, this is how wide it is. And then when you check the red kit racing one, you're looking at about five inch and a quarter, almost five and a half inch uh, wide. So those wheels are much wider. Then the wheelbase, the wheelbase itself, uh, let's measure it side to side completely. We're looking at 23 inches over here. And I'm gonna do it upside down because I know that you cannot really see this. Uh, I'm gonna go here. And then this one will be only kind of like 23 inches. So the racket is a little bit wider and then lengthwise they're almost the same, but the Red Kit have a bigger wheel, so it's look like if it's about an inch longer car. Now the bodies, uh, the bodies are kind of this is much higher. Uh, the shock formation and everything is bigger on this vehicle. I'm gonna take the bodies out and show you what there is underneath it. Uh, let's pull those bodies out real quick. So this is the body for the Creighton. Uh, let's pull the body from the red cat and show comparison about how big they are. Okay, so this is the Creighton body versus the red cat body. Uh, just so you guys see, size wise, the red cat is about five to six inches longer. Uh, just so every, if anybody have any doubt what is bigger. Also, this is very thin. This is about a millimeter, a millimeter and a half thickness. And this one is pretty thick. This is two millimeters. They are very durable. Actually, the orange one is very cool. If you put light underneath it, it's kind of glowing when you drive it at night. It's really cool. Let's move those bodies away. Now, what we got here is two naked cars. Uh, I'm going to take apart the camera right now so I can show what we have there. So I decided to put the bodies reverse real quick. So look how small the Creighton body look on top of the Rampage and how big the Rampage body look on top of the Creighton. There's not enough space on the back. Uh, but let's talk those out. This is not what you're waiting for. This one is there and then this one away. And okay, let's start with a shock suspension system. Uh, this is the suspension system that come in on the R8. Uh, those are pretty massive shocks. Uh, they're very thick actually. Very nice system. And then when you go and compare it to the Red Kit, it's two different systems. This is also pretty big compared to my hand over here. Uh, the entire system here coil over like exactly like what you have in uh, the Arma. But this is more aluminum. You get more aluminum over here like for the adjustment and so, this one is actually uh, plastic. It's not really a big deal. Then the arms. 
those arms on the armor they're pretty strong but the one on red kit they are stronger they are thicker but again this design is a 35 pound vehicle versus this one that is only 24 pounds now when you look at the shock towers the shock towers that you have here they come with a plastic one the one that came from red kit shock towers come a very thick aluminum this is about a five millimeter i think oh, yeah it's it's five i don't think it's four millimeter it's pretty thick okay and then one thing that i showed in the other video was the inside when you look at it, the entire wheel uh excel assembly the hub the c hub everything inside this is very tough uh but it's kind of if someone took a 110 scale and just put it on the xerox and make it bigger uh, this thing is more uh, complicated, kind of more racing style. The boss again, very good. This is amazing with the big bearing. This bearing is huge inside, but the one inside of the red kit is also very big. Now, going back to the body mount, the body mount here is just flush mount, it's just a piece of plastic. And the same thing going to go on the red kit. The red kit have the shock tar, you know holding it and then you can put, put the body mount up and down whatever you want now let's go to what really count when you're looking over here this is the side of the body the plastic and then there is the aluminum frame right there it's pretty thin and it's not not that big of a deal and it's getting very narrow over there okay let's skip the ESC and uh, motor and everything let's skip here here we have like this um body mount that support the entire car when you flip it and there is the support rods for the body not gonna flip and then let's look what we got here starting with the frame so the frame is a big thick piece of aluminum that bent in all around so it's much stronger front and rear they're pretty thick much thicker than that right there it's much thicker, so it's a bigger area that it's catching. Uh, let's compare those two real quick. This is the rear differential bearing versus this one over there. You can see how big the shaft over here on the red kit one fifth scale. Let's pull it out. Now, over here, this is our frame, kind of a sub frame for the body to hold the body so when you crash it's these don't get damaged and what they did is they have a buggy version and they just left it and put a body on it uh so it's pretty cool uh then look at those different in those uh upper rear arm how big they are versus this haha -ha, small big okay but again this is a big 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 vehicle the design with a gasoline engine now let's look around and do a small comparison servo wise 40 kilogram servo um the servo have over here this big servo saver that is really really cool i really like it and then when you look here you have a 30 kilogram servo over here uh with their servo saver system that's going up and down and you got another servo this is dual servo two kilogram uh two 30 kilogram servos uh with two servo savers so it's really cool very strong uh it's kind of really hard to break the gears on this but people still do that people are talented so it's not a big deal um now let's start going and talking about the electronics i know a lot of you guys ask me about what i did so let's show let's start with here this is what you get on the new uh, Creighton uh, 8S. You get the new Spectrum motor that it's uh, 1250 kV. Uh, and then you get this uh, ESC that come with it. That it's pretty cool ESC, it's, but it's pretty small. I'm still working on trying it to see how good it is. So I cannot really say anything bad about it. Even they did something cool. They make the, the cooling ribs on it look like the spectrum logo if nobody noticed that right there those are really cool and then you have the big the big entire differential case here and the motor mount and everything now this is the motor here okay this is the motor let me show you something where is my ruler i need my measuring tape or ruler there is there is that okay this is the motor that came with 
with the thing let's see okay it's about three inches okay let's go here oops over here to my motor this is the castle creation motor that we put on it that is about four and a half inches this motor is four and a half inches long so it's much stronger much 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 bigger much more powerful then i want to show here what i did um, i designed this piece and i see and see a super simple piece to hold a big motor with those big 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 gears um, those are pitch 1.5 i end up actually right there people ask what i did I removed the original gear, I took this big metal gear and I just drill it so it have four uh, bolts, it have to be, you have to do it with the machine so it's accurate and centered and then actually I reboard this piece, the design actually for a smaller vehicle, it was a 5mm and I bored it to become an 8, uh, this is uh, 14 and this one is 43. Uh, now. For the power, I'm using the Castle Creation XLX. Uh, those are not available for a long time, but I, uh, it's, they just literally send more of them. Uh, today is December 12th, and I just got some of them. If anybody need, just give me a shout. I have them in stock. Uh, we put this, uh, it was very important. It's very big. I need to add actually more capacitor on those uh, just so because we're running it on 8S and it's very powerful. And then for the batteries, it was kind of interesting what I needed to do. One big battery over there. I did not have more place for a battery because you have the motor running over there. So I end up putting another battery mount on the back here, right there. So it's kind of if you have another luggage compartment and what it does actually it's end up balancing the weight of the car a little bit because those two servo are pretty heavy on the front and you have the receiver here and there is another battery inside here i do not use the bec on the speed controller i'm using an external battery for a very simple reason uh, if there is any malfunction when i'm going very fast and those butter two battery died I need to be able to break the car so you break with a battery here inside for emergency so this is a very important note for you guys okay now when we're looking at this they have two nice battery bay here so they sold it pretty good uh, weight distribution is very good because how they did everything I believe that if you lift it from the center here it's pretty much balanced it's not pulling backward or forward uh, overall the rear shocks also very big rear shocks on the Arma and a very big shock on the red kit the red kit a little bit smaller shocks but it's not really matter and then I want to show the wheels from the side the profile this is the wheel coming from the Arma this is my 3XL hand 3XL gloves this is a small look near it now let's go look at the one from red kit this is how small near it <laughs> it's a bigger wider very big offset tire um, and again I just want to show this again uh, and explain because I know a lot of people gonna ask about this you guys can make this conversion yourself let me explain real quick and I'm gonna pause the video so we can actually put advertisement for you guys about how to do it okay I'm stopping it right now pay attention in two seconds okay so I'm gonna zoom in for you guys okay so what we did here you have a piece of aluminum that it is uh, two and a half inches by two and a half inches deep okay then what you do you mark where the hole is gonna be for your motor you have two options if you don't have a CNC and none of you guys probably maybe one or two people in this forum have a CNC or access to one but you don't really need one what you're gonna do you're gonna drill two big holes left and right uh, with a very big if you have like half an inch or three quarter inch you're gonna make two holes one near the other 
then you're going to take a file and you're going to start filing it until it's big enough that your shaft going to go through now after you do this you're going to make a straight line where your motor bolt to mount the motor will be and you're going to actually make a lot of small hole one after another and then when you're done you're going to take your file again put it in a vise and start sending it down until everything is nice and smooth now if you get their uh, regular file is about three millimeters that you can get at Arbor Freight or anywhere else and you can just send those thin down if you do what I'm saying it should take you not more than 40 minutes to make this mount yourself and you don't have to pay a hundred dollar for anybody now on the bottom of this here and there there is two screws that going through the mount to hook it up to the frame those screws what you're gonna do is it's a four millimeter screws and what I did I uh, you drill it with uh, 3.8 millimeters and then you thread it you buy a tap and die and you're gonna do a thread of a four millimeter and you just hook it up making new holes in your frame wherever you feel like hook it up over there and that's it you're done you have like the motor mount seating and all you need to do is figure out how you're gearing and you can buy gears today uh, I like to use whatever available and just kind of make my own system uh, this one is a straight spool there is no differential here so it's giving me straight power like to distract this pop wheelie really like crazy this is overall what I did with this big truck I just wanted to show because so many people ask and I'm gonna show actually how it's run how it's popping wheelie it's very strong very heavy truck and again this is the new one from Arma that you can actually purchase and we have them in stock at Motor Style uh, 17 540 Chatsworth Street you ride before the holidays and I have one of those left in stock uh, don't forget like subscribe and share this is the big comparison between what you build and what you can buy now price wise talking about buying this thing is about depend where you get it again between eight hundred and fifty dollar to a thousand dollar uh, most likely you're gonna pay more money right now because the holiday is uh, sold out on all of them so whoever have them will try to get more money from you this thing okay car the truck cost seven hundred and fifty dollar ESC and the motor combo was four hundred and fifty dollar those Venom battery they are a 14 volt 4s uh, 5300 70 C those was hundred and forty dollar each battery uh, you can start adds up the money then the remote that I'm using here I'm using a Futaba remote with a big car I need reliable signal so I use the Futaba remote over here the Futaba remote over here was about hundred and sixty dollar with the with the receiver that I need for it and other than that it's all the same uh, parts of the vehicle so if anybody want to do that uh, there's a lot of, of those vehicle used that people blown up the engine on them the engine come with this from Red Cat was not that successful they always fail and people instead of uh, fixing the, the motor the right way they just converting them or they sell them for like two three hundred dollars you can get a roller for two three hundred dollars and just do that it's very easy then most important thing in the world on top of the motor the cooling ribs the cooling uh, fan also on the ESC and your motor you must put this don't be cheap if you don't put it your motor will overheat and burn it's very easy before I put the castle creation I was having Poseidon motor on it that fell literally after the first time I stopped I don't know if the motor was defective it just died on me right away uh, this one's still holding very good I'm pretty sure it's gonna continue and castle have a good uh, kind of very good uh, warranty for them so I'm not worry about it too much like subscribe and share I hope it answer all the question if anybody need anything just ask below in the comments uh, if you want to, to complain about my English or whatever if you can do better than me go ahead just don't complain before you can do that see you on my next video Eric at RC Monster Garage bye